the North Atlantic Ocean, east of the American coast. On this night, the ocean is as calm and placid as a forest pond. On these nights, sailors feel the cold stab of fear. There are no breaking waves to reveal the presence of the monsters. They drift silently in the dark, and in an instant, can turn tranquility into terror. The grim evidence of this lies two and a half miles below on the ocean floor with the shattered remains of the greatest ocean liner of its time, the Titanic. History happened here on April 15th, 1912, when the ship that was thought to be unsinkable plunges to the bottom of the frigid North Atlantic. Southampton, England, April 10th. It begins with a joyous celebration. The Titanic leaves for New York on its maiden voyage. Captain Edward Smith is on the bridge. It's a liner of unmatched beauty and opulence. From the grand staircase and fine dining rooms to the Turkish bath, swimming pool, and gymnasium, the Titanic is fitted out like a royal palace. High as an 11-story building and four city blocks long, it's considered the safest vessel ever built. It has a double hull and watertight doors in the lower compartments. No one knows the Titanic better than Thomas Andrews, the designer. Just 36, he has spent 10 years overseeing every detail of its planning and construction in Belfast. The young Irishman is aboard to make sure everything on this amazing vessel is perfect. The last known picture, taken from another ship, shows the Titanic steaming west towards its doom. Sunday, April 14th, the fourth day at sea. The temperature drops 10 degrees in one hour. It is an ominous sign. An iceberg warning arrives in the Titanic's wireless room. The operator alerts the bridge. Captain Smith orders increased lookouts, but he does not slow down. Thomas Andrews retires to his cabin, unaware of any danger to his pride and joy. Eleven thirty-five p.m. Andrews works on changes to one of the ship's lounges. He's so absorbed, he barely notices a mild thump, a small tremor, and a faint ripping sound. A monster iceberg has ripped a 300-foot gash in the Titanic's double hull. Seawater rushes into the lower compartment. An officer alerts Andrews. The captain wants him to inspect the damage. He hurries below and finds a heart-stopping scene. The forward compartments are hopelessly flooded and the pumps cannot keep up.
It takes Andrews just 10 minutes to assess the grim facts. He breaks dreadful news to Captain Smith. The Titanic has suffered a mortal blow. Smith asks how long they have. Andrews replies, an hour and a half, possibly two, not much longer. The Titanic has a fatal flaw. Andrews did not design the 16 watertight compartments to reach all the way to the upper decks. As water pours into one, it floods, flows over the top, and fills the next. Six are already flooded. It's only a matter of time before seawater fills the belly of the great liner and pulls it to the bottom of the ocean. The Titanic launches distress rockets. Lookouts on a nearby ship think the flashes of fireworks and ignore them. There are enough lifeboats for just half the people on board. Many behave with great courage, but some do not. Frightened men shove women and children out of the way. Andrews designed the lifeboats to hold 60 people each. But some are lowered with as few as a dozen in them. A few of those on board calmly await their fate. Andrews retreats to the first class smoking room. He doesn't bother to put on a life jacket. He feels it's his fault. A survivor says that in its final agonizing moments, the great ship looks like an enormous black finger pointing at the sky. The Titanic sinks at 2.20 a.m. on April 15, 1912. The iceberg drifts on, leaving behind the haunting evidence of its passing. Thomas Andrews thought he'd realized the dream, but on this terrible night, the dream dies, and so does the dreamer. It is the worst ship disaster in history. Of the 2,227 who board the Titanic, 1,517 perish. The biggest ocean liner the world has ever seen ends its maiden voyage here, 13,000 feet down at the bottom of the cold and unforgiving Atlantic.